In this video, I'll show you how to create a new Google Ads campaign from scratch and send traffic from Google directly to your Amazon listings and get these extra sales and rankings and a little tip to help you get extra money back from Amazon attribution using it as a landing page in your Google Ads creative and for every sale that came or made through this traffic that you sent from Google, you're going to get some money back and this will help you put it back into more traffic using Google AdWords. So make sure that you're watching the entire video to learn how to do it. Hi, this is Tomer from sourcingmonster.com where I share with you videos, updates and tutorials about Amazon FBA and e-commerce. And everything that I share with you here is completely free. So as we go through the video, please do me a favor, support my hard work and subscribe to the channel, like the video and comment with any questions that you have and all links that um, we are going to mention during this video will be in the description section for you. Okay, so the first step is to decide which item you want to promote. This is really the best uh, or the first step. Second is I like to choose a specific keyword that I'm going to promote using this traffic, okay? When I say uh, a specific keyword, it's the keyword that I'm going to send the traffic to a two-step URL. And with the two-step URL, basically uh, we are uh, going to get extra rankings with the every cell that come through the um, you know through Google Ads. So st first of all, I uh, put on Google two-step URL Helium 10, and it's a free tool. You don't have to or you don't need membership. Even though if you need membership, you can get 10% off uh, for life or 50% on your first month using the link uh, below in the description. Uh, but you are going to choose the marketplace. In this case, it's going to be Amazon.com. Let's go here and try to take some, some example, just uh, this ASIN. It's, in, it's uh, the sunglasses that I bought. Okay, so this is the ASIN. And we're going to put the brand. Let's put ATTCL. Keywords. Let's let's say that it's going to be retro metal frame sunglasses. Okay. Okay. ASIN is optional, but of course it's very important. And then we are going to generate this. Uh, let's open it in a new tab. And basically you see here the keyword and the only result is this one. So when you send your traffic from Google to this landing page, it will only show your product. You're not competing with other product. And it's very important to do it because if you send directly to the listing, um, then you're not going to get the extra ranking juice from this two step URL. Okay. So it's very important. Now, after we decided on a keyword and on the item and we created the two step URL, we're going to copy it and put it like somewhere safe. Okay. When I say safe, it's uh, somewhere that you can use it later. So here, um, let's open it and have also a link directly to the um, to the listing and we'll need it too later. I'll show you why. And now let's go to Google AdWords. So if you don't have account, um, just, uh, just open an account, go to ads.google.com. I have already account, so I will just sign in. And there inside, I'm going to click on create new campaign. Okay. Now, what I choose here is website traffic and I always choose search. Now here, that's where I'm going to put the URL of our listing. And here I'm going to choose or call it the, the, the campaign name. Usually I call it the keyword that I'm trying to uh, rank or the product name. So uh, retro sunglasses, retro sunglasses. Here it's very important to uncheck the display network. And for the locations, I'm going to choose United States. And then for location options, always this. Because what will happen if you keep it by the default options on all countries, you can get traffic, let's say, from uh, from... I don't know, like from uh, from India, for example, and this traffic most likely won't convert in Amazon.com marketplace. So you're wasting a lot of valuable traffic 
into people or buyers that are not going to convert. So it's very important to choose the right targeting. And in this specific thing, it's demographic that we choose United States. And here, if you don't change the target from presence or, or interest to presence people in, in or regularly in your target location, what will happen is that even if someone is have interest in let's say living in the united states it will still show him the ad even though he is not in the united states so it's very important to do that for languages i keep all languages because people sometimes live in the us but they have spanish uh language by default on their computer so it's not a big deal for budget i like to start small by ten dollars and you can always increase it to 20 30 depends on the results depends on how well it is doing for bidding, I will choose clicks. Now, why I don't choose conversions? Because with Amazon attribution and with Amazon in general, you can't put your pixel, and when I say pixel, it's a little piece of code into the landing page on the checkout page that basically record the every cell that, uh, you know, every cell uh, that happened. Now, Amazon, of course, won't allow us to inject and put this code, so, and, and why it's so important, because if you have this code, then Google basically can connect the traffic with the cell. It can see, okay, these people converted, these people actually bought something. So you can create a lookalike audience, or you can give uh, Google AdWords AI learning uh, capabilities to really send you more targeted traffic. And this is really what Facebook created in a phenomenal way uh now they are having a little troubles with the ios updates but i'm really going a little to different uh, areas uh things that i'm very passionate about but anyway you are going to choose clicks because um, uh, google can't really optimize or learn from any conversion because it will be zero and therefore it will give you like higher bids it will look at it as a wrong thing okay and I always like to click uh, set a maximum to check the set maximum cost per click bid limit. And I start very small, sometimes 25 cents, sometimes 30. And the reason for that is that 10 clicks from Google uh, ads traffic comparing to 10 clicks on the Amazon PPC platform will convert in different rates. Uh, Amazon uh, platform, people that are much more ready to buy and cooked and people that you need to bring, I call it, it's not really called traffic but it's less warm than people that is actually on Amazon. So I like to put it in a very lower bids than uh, my bids on the Amazon PPC platform. So you start small, you start low, and then you see that if you convert, if the results are good you and you want to get more traffic and you just get, don't get it with increasing the budget here, you are going to increase the bids here. For ad extensions, for now, I'm not going to choose anything and I'm going to click save and continue. Now it will ask me to add keywords. Now, it basically fetched some keywords from the actual listing, the landing page that we provided, but it's not necessarily the correct ones. So you can either go to your competitors and get list of keywords or even your own keywords that you know that they have high volume and keywords that will get some traffic. And I suggest that you put them as a phrase match. So phrase match, you will need to put it very similar to Amazon PPC in parentheses. So keyword, and if you want the exact match, of course, you're going to put it with these brackets. Okay, and broad match will be just without anything. Okay, so let's pretend that these are the keywords that we want to add. And let's click on save and continue. And now we are have we have to put the final URL. That's where I'm going to take the two-step URL that we created and put it into Amazon attribution link. And why we do it? We are doing it to get those extra sales. And I'll show you how many sales. Let's check. I didn't check it uh, for quite some time here. But you go to the brand referral program, and in order to participate, the first time you come to this page, you will need to apply. So in my case, I already applied. And now let's download the report and see how many, how much money I got back from Amazon. Okay, so this is giving you the date. So 23rd of August uh, till the 11th of uh, September. It's a little delayed here, so you don't really see it well. But here are the numbers, and uh, it will tell you the product name, the campaign, and then it will tell you the sales, and it will tell you the brand referral bonus. So here. Um, 
actually less than a month I, will, I, I was able to make $116 just in commissions from Amazon for sales made through my traffic that I sent. So this is money that I can put back into the campaigns. So this is really amazing. So um, as you can see here, um, it gives you a really good statistics and uh, traffic here. And actually, it's really surprising me that I got like uh, five sales on that day for like Probably I spent like seven or eight dollars. So this is amazing. You know, I should send more traffic uh, from uh, Google to my listings because they are doing very well, you know, and I should reduce some of the bids uh, that I'm, uh, you know, I'm doing from, uh, uh, you know, because just with ten dollars, that's what I spend every day on Google. And look how many uh, I made a hundred dollars, you know, and so I got ten dollars. Basically, it's a free sales that I got because the money that I got from the Amazon attribution is covering for the money that it cost me to send this traffic. So yes, it's free sales and break even because it did like, it's not really break even, it's break even as far as the cost. But what about the extra sales that I, I wouldn't get them if I wouldn't have those campaigns. So just like that, even without getting any rankings out of it, this is really amazing. So um, what I'm going, to, and this is something that I mentioned uh, during the lives, and tomorrow we have another live um, is that I'm starting to take a lot of my traffic from and money spent that, that I'm doing with Amazon PPC into Google AdWords because look at the results. This is amazing. So uh, with that being said, what uh, these are just numbers to show you how it works. OK, but in order to create the attribution link, you have to go to Amazon, measure non Amazon ads, then you will uh, redirect it into um the platform i don't know why it's showing me here but uh i'm already registered so you'll have to choose your brand name and then you're gonna click create a new order here i do have a thorough video about amazon attribution and how it works but you will have to add your product we'll call it retro sun glasses for example and then here, uh, you're going to call it like the actual keyword, retro keyword, for example. And then for publisher, we're going to put Google AdWords. And for the click through URL, I'm going to put the two step URL that we created from the Helium 10 tool. Okay. Going to hit on saving. And now I'm going to copy this link that I got, which is the uh, Amazon attribution link and put it as the final URL of the Google Ads for the creative. And here I'm just going to put like retro sun glasses. Now you wonder, OK, how do I create the creative, uh, the creative, the ad to appeal and get a lot of clicks? So what I found that works really well is that for the headlines, I like to take the keywords from uh, from the listing. OK, so men's retro metal frame. You can take from the keywords that you're target the same thing. Uh, personalized, uh, polarized, I'm sorry. Here, I don't put Amazon.com. I saw many people doing it and some things like that, like free shipping. This is, doesn't work. And then what I like to do is this is not really a good listing, but normal listing will have good copywriting. So let's try to go here to a listing that oh, that's the same brand. Uh, they are not really writing anything. So let's go to this one. Hopefully they're going to have some text here. It's weird. Like look at the, the, the bullets and the text that they put here is nothing wrong, but let's just that you take from here and then you're going to take from the bullets and you're going to create at least seven. You ever the score for add strength. So it's basically until it's very strong. I wouldn't really leave it. Okay. So then for here at the description, I also like to take some sentences from my own reviews, like uh, definitely not breakable uh, and, and, and just use customer reviews for the text to use the same customer language. And then we're going to click save and continue, create the ad and that's it. You just wait. Your campaign can tell if it's one issue so uh, you can fix it, put some more uh, too few elements. It won't, won't allow me to create, but basically that's how I do it. Um, and as you saw, it's uh, the results are amazing. I was actually surprised because I didn't check that report for, for quite some time. 
um, and I'm going to increase some of the bids and budget to send more traffic uh, to my listings. So that's uh, pretty much it for how to create the campaign, how it works, and hopefully by you seeing my results and seeing how it actually works in a very easy to digest steps, it will help you uh, take action. And hopefully you will take action and I hope to see your comments with the results. And please like this video, share it with anyone that you know, join our new Sourcing Monster Facebook group, a link will be in the description. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.